Hey everyone, welcome back. So as you know, I'm a big fan of Premier Inn. So I'm in Dubai at the minute and I thought, why don't I go and check out a Premier Inn in Dubai and see how they compare to the UK ones. Now I stayed in the Premier Inn last night and it wasn't overly that good. And I thought, come on, this is Dubai. Surely there's got to be a bigger and better one here. And I found it. I've decided to spoil myself as well. I've upgraded my room. Yes, you can upgrade your rooms here in Premier Inn in Dubai. This place has a restaurant. It also has a swimming pool and a gym. Let's go check it out. Just look how big it is. In fact, it's so big, there's two towers, Tower A and Tower B. I'm staying in Tower B, I've already checked in. Let's go and have a look. It's more like a huge hotel than a Premier Inn that I'm used to. So reception is floor number three. It smells nice in here. So it's just before eight o'clock when the pool is due to close or when the lifeguard goes away, but that also means the pool will close. But have you ever been to a premier room with a pool? I will check it out in the morning maybe go for a swim you might be able to see the skyline of Dubai in the distance and down there is a Marks and Spencer they've also got a gym there's quite a few people in there so I'm not going to head in and ruin their workout but you can see them through the window the running machines Mr. Toad's pub and kitchen on the left, and then Cafe Nouveau. We'll have a look down there in a minute. Let's have a look at this. A bit like a mash and barrel that you'd get in the UK, I guess. But with the added bonus of outside as well. And there's a huge screen out here. I guess this is where we go for breakfast. This is nice. Wow, look at these sofas. So I guess this is where breakfast will be in the morning. I'm looking forward to it. So I need to use my room key. Floor 15, which is right at the top. Now straight away, the carpet is different. That looks a bit more like a hotel. Well, when I say hotel, you know what I mean. Not a Premier Inn. Now these rooms are very nice indeed. I'm right at the end. First thing you'll notice is the carpet looks a lot different. And I've actually paid a little bit extra to go in a corner suite. Here's my room. Now, if you're as sad as me, you said the same thing. Wow. Because just look at the size of the room. There is so much space. And also being a, a corner room as well, I've got a window that side and a window here. The usual Premier Inn Chage Lounge, which is just slightly different with the cushioning, but the bed and the headboard and the lights all completely different. The nice pine look, really do like these, uh, these side lights, which make it look a little bit classy. And Premier Inns do have these, but they're purple, aren't they? And this is um, cream, which is really nice. Extra reading lights. And you'll notice as well, if you've never been to Dubai, yes, English plug sockets. Lovely bed. I'll do the bed test in a moment. First, let's just quickly show you the view, which I'll have to turn the lights off actually to show you the view, but basically you can see across the Dubai skyline. I'll show you that in a second. But I love the corner windows. 
huge TV, a little workstation here. Love the chair. The colour coordination with the carpets outside and the rooms, really nice. Although this is a bit more like a Premier Inn carpet than outside. I've also got a mini fridge, but there's nothing in there. However, I do have some complimentary water, which is nice. And um, if I phone up downstairs, they'll actually send me some more. A couple of glasses, some cups. We've got tea and coffee and a kettle. The kettle's lovely and clean. Nice little bit of artwork. We've got a phone by the bed and I think I've got room service here. I can call Costa if I want, housekeeping reception, and also if I want it, a wake up call. They also do massage on level two. I'm loving this bed straight away. And there's plenty of storage right underneath the bed. And this is such an interesting design with the bathroom, but I really like it. It's kind of very open. There's no doors. These aren't sliding doors. Oh, they are, okay. <laughs> I was wrong. Oh, these do, do they actually? Oh, okay. So I can close the whole thing if I wanted to, but that looks a little bit boring. I like the way it was open like that. So as we step in, we've got huge sink. Got some fresh towels over there. Complimentary shower gel, shaving ports, and a and a little vanity mirror as well when I'm shaving. Does that work? Now, when I came in, both of these doors were shut. I wasn't sure which one was the toilet and which one was the shower. Show you. Closed and <laughs> open. <laughs> really randomly, there's a phone in the toilet. Just in case you get into an emergency. Maybe you've run out of toilet roll. Can you imagine actually using that? Saying that, you should be able to use these. I wish they would actually have these in the UK because, oh, pfft, I've just got myself soaked. Because obviously, they will clean your bot for you. This is the shower room. It's huge. And a massive rainfall shower with an extra shower head there. Shower gel. It's absolutely massive in the shower. You could get at least seven people in here. Random number, I know, but I've worked it out. Actually, you can get eight. So let's do the bed test. It goes without saying. I mean, this looks comfy before I even stepped on it. I just love how open and airy this room is. It's definitely the kind of colour that I actually really like. It's a nice, clean, pine look. I really like it. And how much room you've got around the bed and even into the hall as well, it looks huge. There's somewhere to put your suitcase. I've already got mine here. It's good to know that there's a safe here and there's extra pillows. And the great thing about Dubai, they have some excellent TV channels. It's quite good. They've also got a wake up call option on here as well and details about the local attractions. But one of my favorite channels that uh, I remember once when I was last here in Dubai, and indeed in Egypt, when I used to go on holiday to Egypt, which was a while ago, was um, the free movie channels, which if I can remember right, that was it, NBC2. It's like a free movie channel. What are they showing? Ah, classic Men in Black. I wish they would do these kind of rooms in the UK, upgrade the Premier Inns a little bit. That would be nice. Hey, you never know, maybe they will. So breakfast is included with the price. I will tell you the price at the end and I will show you what breakfast is like. But before I go to bed, I'll show you the view. A little bit of a shame that you can't see much because it's quite misty out there tonight. In fact, it, uh, it was raining just a little bit before I actually got here this evening, which I'm absolutely gutted about. Hope the weather does improve. I'll see you in the morning. Scrambled eggs, so it looks like a normal premier in breakfast actually. Sausages, bacon, 
tomatoes, there's eggs, beans, waffles look pretty good. Don't normally get that at Premier India, donuts, and cakes, nor do you get fruit like this either. Watermelon, mango, melon, grapes. So what was really good is that you can actually get fried eggs or scrambled eggs or poached eggs or however you like them made fresh to order. I got a bit of bacon, some cheese, and then a selection of pastries. We'll finish with a cup of coffee. Cheers. Obviously the sausage is chicken sausage, not pork. And the bacon is very different as well. It's almost like corned beef, thinned and then fried. Showing you the pool this morning. There's not much sun out just yet. So the towels for the pool are completely complimentary. This Premier Inn really confuses me. I'm in the other tower now, as you can see by the carpets and the doors and, well, I can't show you the rooms, but the rooms are exactly the same as the Premier Inn that you'd get in the UK. The other side, however, where I'm staying is Premier Inn, but super? Everything, that, everything that's in here, Mr. Toad's Pub and Kitchen, Nouveau Restaurant, Costa Coffee, Pool, Gymnasium, and the reception. I have to say that I was really impressed with that Premier Inn. Now, last night I stayed at one at the airport, which was not so great. As you can see, it looks like a Premier Inn from about 10, 15 years ago. It was okay. It wasn't overly very nice. This Premier Inn, obviously, is a bit more new and it totally confused me because I felt like I was at a Premier Inn, but I also felt like I was at a four-star hotel. So I'm glad I upgraded my room. The room cost me £97. Now, bearing in mind that was an upgrade for one night, the hotel park that I was staying in actually didn't feel like a Premier Inn whatsoever. All right, it's not the best pool in the world, but you know, you're here in Dubai and you probably want to cool off. And it just goes to show that you can actually visit and stay in Dubai relatively cheap. In fact, just as cheap as a night stay in a Premier Inn back home. If you've always wanted to come out to buy, all right, the airfare might be about four or five hundred pounds, but look, you can get a hotel room for about the same price you would in the UK. Do give the video a thumbs up, comment below, would you stay here and tell me what you thought about it. I'll see you next time.